Have you ever wondered why dolphins are always referred to as the bats of the sea? Uh, no one ever says that, ever. Some people might say it. Okay. Anthony here for D News with Alex from Animalist News. Welcome, sir. Hey, how's it going? Good, good. And you're here with us today because we just found out something really interesting about bats and dolphins. Right. What do you think they have in common? Uh, they're both adorable. Well... They stealthily feed on blood. Um... They have the ability to use complex tools. Oh, echolocation. Yeah. The ability to throw out a sound, listen to the echo, and then get a picture of their environment. Exactly. Now, I've always wondered, how did that happen? How did bats and dolphins both get echolocation? Do they have like a similar genetic ancestor somewhere way back? Uh, they do have a common ancestor, but it's like way back, like 60 million years back. Wow. But bats and dolphins have been using echolocation for about 20 million years. So. Where'd the radar come from in that 40 million year gap? Uh, it's something called convergent evolution. Animals living in similar environments can actually develop same adaptive qualities as one another, totally independently. So the similar environment in this case is dim light, either in caves or underwater. Right, and we've never really known whether these abilities were genetically the same in the two species. Right, so we were wondering whether bats and dolphins just have a similar seeming ability or literally the same one genetically. Exactly, but recently researchers from the Queen Mary University of London ran genome testing on a bunch of dolphins and bats and it showed that echolocation comes from the same gene and the same protein in all of them. 200 different genes, all changed in the same way in all the animals. Whoa, so they all developed the same mutations in the same way at the same time, but with no connection between the species at all. It's a molecular convergence, and it's insane because it has some really widespread implications in biology because we could be incorrectly classifying animals as related species based on their appearance or their abilities when they don't have any connection to one another at all. Wait a minute, what are my chances of spontaneously developing bat powers in a bat-like environment? Like if I just sat in the dark? Um, I'm not a biologist, but I'm gonna say like 37%, but yeah. that's kind of like based on no, Bruce that's, Wayne. Yeah, that sounds right though, that yeah. sounds right. So, Animalist News starts today. It does. Tell us all about that. Animalist News is a new show, it's a daily show, where I'm gonna be reporting all about animal happenings all around the world. And where do they get that? Uh, you guys can go to youtube.com slash animalist, or you can visit us on our website at animalist.com. Awesome, and remember to subscribe here for more D News.